Hello, welcome to Tea Class. My name is Margaret Harris. I own a tea store in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I would like to tell you today how to make good tea. First of all, in order to make good tea, we need good quality tea to start with. And the best tea is always loose leaf tea because it is the more natural form of tea. Um, something like this. Um, I keep my tea in a tin away from heat and moisture. Uh, storing tea in a refrigerator is not recommended because it uh, um, gets moisture from the inside of the refrigerator. So the best way to store tea is in a dark, cool place um, away from heat and moisture. In order to make good tea, um, we need good quality water. The best water is uh, spring water or uh, filtered water. However, tap water is usually fine as well. The water that's not recommended is distilled water. Distilled water does not have any minerals, therefore it makes tea taste flat. First, we need to pour loose leaf tea into the pot. Now, this teapot holds about six cups of uh, tea. And when I say cup, I mean cup of this size, which is about six to seven ounces capacity. This teapot is equipped in a um, tea infuser already, so it makes it easy. And I'm going to measure six teaspoons of tea. We use one teaspoon per cup. Three, four, five, and six. And I like to add one more for a pan. So we got our tea inside the teapot. Um, now we have to use freshly boiled water. I'm going to pour it slowly in. Now keep in mind that in making black tea we use water that's very hot approximately 210 degrees. However, when making green tea, we use water that's a little cooler, only about 170, maybe 180 degrees. Now we're gonna cover it and wait approximately four minutes. In the meantime, I wanna show you how to make um, just a mug of tea. I have this infuser here uh, that's just like a little basket with a lid. And this is a mug which is approximately double of the size of the tea cup. Therefore, I'm going to need about two teaspoons of loose leaf tea to make a proper mug of tea. I'm going to close it. I'm going to pour water in first. And then we're going to insert our infuser into the cup. Add a little more water. And it's also steeping nicely. Once again, for uh, black tea, the recommended water temperature is approximately 210 degrees, which basically means to wait maybe about one minute after boiling for water to cool off just slightly. Now, when making green tea, the water temperature should be cooler, um, approximately 170, maybe 180 degrees. And um, I recommend waiting approximately three minutes uh, for water to cool off. Uh, the steeping time of the black tea is approximately four minutes. Um, when steeping green tea, we recommend about two minutes. If you steep green tea for longer than two minutes, it will turn bitter and you're not going to like it. So, since our tea is almost ready, I'm going to get two tea cups for myself and my friend. It's always good to have tea with your friend. I'm going to pour it in. nice and hot. Now, 
I'm going to remove the infuser as I do not want my tea to over steep. So we're going to get rid of the leaves right now. We're going to leave our tea ready to drink in a teapot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it with a tea cozy. Tea cozy is sort of like a jacket for a teapot. It will make tea nice and warm for at least two hours. Isn't it pretty? Now, you can drink your tea straight up or you can add anything you like to make it more pleasurable. I like to add just a sweetener to my tea. I'm always watching my weight. I also like to add lemon juice. Some may like to add milk or any other sweetener, sugar, honey, agave, anything you like to make the tea pleasurable. Mm, it is good. It's a good tea. Meanwhile, I'm finished with steeping. I'm going to remove this floating infuser out of the mug. And you can actually see how beautiful color of tea is. So, once again, I used only about one teaspoon of tea, dry tea, to make this little cup, which is approximately six to seven ounces capacity. And I used two teaspoons to make a mug like this, which is approximately uh, 14 ounces. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your tea. And uh, please stop by their website, teapittsburgh.com. That's T E A P I T T S B U R G dot com. Enjoy your tea.